All right, so I want to give a quick tip on the laptops over here. So typically, a lot of us have laptops, obviously, and some of us get laptops that are mid-range to high-range for gaming. And typically, we get that just for the convenience. We want to be able to get on the old Facebook, the old Twitter, the old Instagram, and the YouTube, watch a couple of videos, maybe type something up, maybe order some computer parts off of Amazon, or just watch DLM Tech Garage. Either way, we really don't use our laptops for gaming as much as we think we should. I can honestly say my laptop, maybe 10% of the time I might use it for gaming. And I use it mostly when I'm on the road or if I'm sitting at home and I just need to look up some quick information and I'm kind of blind because I can't see my phone too good. So we typically don't need a lot of the power of this laptop. So now I have this HP laptop over here and I don't know if you guys can see or hear it. The fan is running and all I'm doing is sitting idle just downloading a game and even using the interweb and all that good stuff watching the old YouTube, the fan runs, gets a little bit toasty and the laptop just kind of, you know, gets you all nice and hot and sweaty. We take these into hotels, go into the old Starbucks and do all that stuff and everything and yeah, the fans can be annoying and you have a couple options. Either one, you could just get a dedicated small Surface Book or a small laptop and spend about maybe four or $500 for that, for something without all that power, but still good for the whole inter-browsing, interweb stuff. Or you could get a little more money and get something that you could game a little bit and do that. But then you also deal with a little bit of heat issues. So I wanna show you this quick little trick that I typically do when I have customers that say, hey, you know, I don't really game too much on this laptop, but it gets really hot. You know, we change the thermal pace and all that good stuff. We ain't get too, we ain't getting too much of a improvement, but I'm tired of my laptop being so loud. So here's typically what I do. So we're sitting at idle and the fan is running and I'm sitting, let's say about 48, 52, it is spiked up to 82 degrees Celsius. The fans are going on and off. And the more things I do, the warmer this thing gets. So now we're downloading a game. We're gonna watch the old YouTube over here. And let's just play something. All right, so we got the YouTube, we got the downloading over here. Our temperatures are spiking up to 74, 72. So it's warming up. And let's say that while we're playing this in the background, we might got the old Spotify working and all that good stuff. You know, our core clock is at 4.1, let's just say 4.2. Fans are definitely getting louder. And it becomes quite an inconvenience, but honestly, if you're just gonna download, listen to music, and browse the interweb, you really don't need all that core clock. If you do, cool. If not, then that's fine. So here's something that I have found that works pretty good. So I'm gonna leave all this stuff running, and what I typically do is I go to the power profile, edit, power plan, enter, go to change advanced power settings, and then what I do is I go to processor management, if you can see it right over here, and this allows you to kind of downclock your CPU without using any third party software or anything else. And it's real simple and easy. So now you have on battery plugged in. I have found that 85% uh, processor usage actually works perfect for what I want to do when I'm browsing. I don't get no lags, I ain't getting no down clocking over here. And even actually I could play some games on that because I don't need that whole 4.5 that this thing claims to boost up to. So then what I'll typically do, and let's just watch the temperatures over here. Uh, let's see, 60, 67, 61. I'll take this and bring it down to 85. You can go lower if you want, but you know, then you start losing some performance. We'll do it at 85. And now my CPU temperatures, if you start looking at it, 56, 55, we had a 54. The temperatures are actually going down because it's down clocking the CPU. We're not utilizing as much as we can do and our cores well now they're saying one gigahertz two gigahertz that'll balance out but typically i found out that it will sit anywhere between 2.5 to 2.8 gigahertz and it won't touch that 4.3 and for browsing the interweb it actually works pretty perfect so now i'm still watching the good old youtube I'm still downloading, getting my speeds. Well, my intent's acting a little funky over here. Still downloading, watching the YouTube. And as you can hear, my fans are a lot quieter. So guys, if you're gonna be traveling with your laptop during this warm weather, or you just wanna sit in your living room and you really don't need all that fancy performance, and you just want your laptop not to burn your lap, and 
not deal with annoying fan sound, go to Power Profiles, change Advanced Settings, which is going to show this one more time, and lower your processor power management to about 85. I'm sure if I went to 90, it, that would work too over here, but I found 85 to be quiet and a lot better if I just want to sit, watch the YouTube, and just use the laptop for laptop stuff. So quick tip for this. Now, if you want to get back into gaming, you say, hey, I want to get into a cool gaming session over here, come back over here, go to plugged in, change it to 100%, and then you have all your performance for whatever game you want to do. So quick tip. Hope this helps you guys. If you're traveling this summer or just sitting in the living room using your laptop, I recommend doing this, and this will actually uh, save you that warm toastiness that this laptop tends to do. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps, and we'll see what we do next.